All right, so in today's video, I want to uh, talk about how to get started with using Grok AI API in Python. If you've never heard of Grok, Grok is a star company developing chips to run generative AI models, aiming to be uh, faster than any other companies. And I have been using their API for the past two days, and I can tell you that it's really fast. Now, the company is founded by many big players in the uh, tech world. So like Jonathan Ross, he used to work at uh, Google, focused on developing the tensor processing chips. And couple others. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the staff, but I do want to talk about the pricing. If we look at the pricing here, the pricing is actually pretty amazing. For 1 million tokens, it's only going to cost you 27 cents for the mixture uh, model and 70 cents for the input, 80 cents for the output for the Llama 2 70B model. And if we look at the processing speed, we get 480 tokens for the mixture model, 300 tokens for Llama 2 70B model, and 750 tokens for Llama 2 7B model. And you can think Llama 2 7B model is equivalent to GBT 3.5. And currently, these are all the available models, but I foresee that they will gradually introduce more models in the future. And before you can use the API, you need to request the access. And to request the API access, simply uh, navigate to console.grac.com and sign with your account. And currently, the API is free, but I don't know how long this is going to last. Now, the other thing I want to just quickly go over is the model token limit. For Llama 270B, the uh, maximum token uh, per context is 4,096 tokens. And here's the model ID. Now for Metro, it's going to be a lot uh, larger. It's going to be 32,768 tokens that I can support for the context. And here's the model ID. And they also provide their own playground. You can play around with the models. And other than that, that's basically everything I want to cover from the document. Actually, this one more. So uh, the API is almost identical to OpenAI's uh, API. So if you want to uh, learn how to use different APIs, then you can basically use OpenAI's API as an instruction. And Grax API is also compatible with OpenAI's API. But just keep in mind that not all the uh, functions and features are supported. So for example, these following fields are not supported currently and will result in a 400 error if they are supplied. And for the output counts, currently you can only set that to one. That means you can only generate one response at a time. And temperature is going to be between zero and two. Now stepping into the tutorial. All right, so let me activate the environment. Now to get started, first you want to install Grok Python package by running the command pet install grac and enter. I'm going to create a script. I'll name the script demo.py. Let me launch my VS code. Oh, so this one more thing I forgot to do. Actually, let's do it right now. Go into API keys and create a new API key. I'm going to name the key demo and grab the API key, and let me put that in the script for now. To connect to the API, we're going to import the Grack class, and send uh, the library didn't get installed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's okay. So let me import the library to see what happens. Right, let me try again. Now here, let me define the API key. Uh, usually you want to save the API key somewhere safe, like an environment variable. So I did uh, provide an example using the OS module. You can store your API key in this uh, Grok API key environment variable. But for demonstration, I'm going to just hard code the API key. On the top, I'm going to create a function to draft a message. I'm going to define the default role to user. 
Now, if you work with OpenAI's API and the message track is going to look very familiar to you, then we need to construct the client instance. Now, for this exercise, I'm simply going to define my, uh, my chatbot or my assistant as you are a professor with not so nice personality. And it's going to define the role of the assistant or AI in this case. Then I'm going to append a prompt asking write a complaint email to the professor with your love life. Then I'm going to append the prompt to the messages list. And here I need to create the message record using the draft message function. And to make the request call or to send the request, from client.chat.completions.create. And this is identical to OpenAI's API. And for the temperature, I'm going to set that to 1.0. And we need to set an value to 1, and which is the default as well. And for the model, I'll be using Mixture, and here's the model ID. And max tokens, I'm going to set that to 10,000. Then I'm going to supply the messages. And to be honest, for the price and the max tokens limit, just those two things uh, got me very excited when it comes to uh, using generative AI to build different applications. And for one, that's going to uh, keep the cost really low for uh, personal projects. Now here I'm going to run this code block. And here I forgot the close parentheses somewhere right here. Let me try again. And let me go ahead and create a client instance. Then I'm going to create my messages. Oh, let me try again. I'll create the messages first. And you see that the drop message function is not created. Let me try again. Okay, now this time it works. Oops. Now if I print messages, let me make sure that the messages are in there. I'm going to run the create method. And why is that? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know why. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. All right, so let me go ahead and create a client instance. Let me try again. And I think that took about one second. So let's go ahead and uh, print the total tokens in the content. Now for this request, we use 405 tokens. And here's the response. And to be honest, uh, this response is a lot more detailed and more complete than using GBT 3.5. And so far, I have been really happy with the results. And check one more thing. And here's the usage. Okay. Now, if we look at the completion time, it only took about 0.7 seconds. All right. So uh, I think this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this tutorial. And hope you guys find this video useful. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.